Hi, I'm Corey Nockreiner, Director of Security Strategy and CISSP at WatchGuard, and you're watching this week's On the Road edition of WatchGuard Security Week in Review, a video podcast dedicated to quickly summarizing all the big security stories from the week. This week I'm traveling in Texas speaking at various security events, so this week's episode comes from my iPhone in my hotel room here in Texas. The first story of the week is a massive hijacking of WordPress 3.21 sites. WordPress is a web framework that's used to create blog sites, including the one we host at WatchGuardSecuritySenter.com, but version 3.2 is actually an older version. Well, one of WatchGuard's partners, WebSense, has discovered many, many WordPress 3.21 sites that have been hijacked and then forced to host some malicious JavaScript. Uh, no one's quite clear how the WordPress 3.21 uh, sites are being hijacked, but we do know that that old version does suffer from a number of vulnerabilities. When they are hijacked, the attacker puts in some JavaScript exploits that exploits flaws in some old versions of Java and forces uh, victims to download a, a botnet client or a Trojan called TDSS or TDL4. So if you host a WordPress site of your own, be sure to upgrade to a more recent version of WordPress. Don't keep using 3.21. Another security story of the week is a big OS X update. Uh, this update actually included fixes for many security vulnerabilities. I believe, if I remember right, the update included 52 security vulnerability fixes. And these are fixes for a number of components and packages that come with OS X. I believe 27 components in total. And they include many of the big components like QuickTime or Core Audio or Image I.O. And some of the vulnerabilities include things like if you view a maliciously crafted image, an attacker can run code on your computer. So if you're an OS X user, be sure to get the latest update. Last week, I mentioned Symantec had warned PC Anywhere users to stop using the product due some, to some vulnerabilities that attackers had found in it. This week, Symantec actually has released a patch for that product, and they're even offering this upgrade for free to all PC Anywhere users. So PC Anywhere is now safe to use again as long as you get this free update. Anonymous is still at it this week with more DDoS attacks. A group calling themselves Anonymous Brazil was able to DDoS a number of Brazilian banking sites. As well, another portion of Anonymous got into an online fight over Twitter with the president of UFC, the uh, Ultimate Fighting Championship. And he basically is upset, uh, you know, he agrees with SOPA because a lot of people steal UFC content. So he got into a, a fighting match on Twitter with Anonymous, who eventually did something called doxing uh, the president of UFC. And doxing is releasing public documents or, or public information about uh, a person. So they things like his address, maybe his girlfriend's name, uh, his, his phone number, and other personal information. Finally, the biggest security story this week that just came out today on Thursday is news that VeriSign, a very, very big company that actually helps make sure that you're going to the right site that you think you are, they disclosed in one of their SEC filings that they got breached multiple times in 2010. Now this is a developing story. They haven't really said for sure what data was breached or, or was leaked out to the bad guys. They say that they don't just suspect the bad guys got access to their DNS infrastructure. But VeriSign is a very, very important company that really helped get us to the right sites on the internet. So having them breached is a very big news indeed. So thanks for watching. And I'm sorry if my On the Road edition of WatchGuard Security Week in Review isn't quite up to its normal production uh, values, but I'll be back in the office next week.